Hey, um, on that one deal I was talking about with the sub two uh, carry back. So mm -hmm. he sent over the purchase and sale agreement, but he did not send over the authorization to release form, which was included in the four total pages. Mm -hmm. So this, uh, I asked him about it two days ago and he just sent me an email. Oh yeah, I want to move in 30 days. Great. Can I get that last page sent over to me? I can't get started until we have that. So is this a deal breaker because I can't prove what his payment is and uh, I don't want to start a title and lien search, start paying money on it when, so did that ever happen? And what is this about? <laughs> That's my yeah, first question. Maybe he's just being an idiot and forgot to sign it, or maybe it's intentional. I don't see why he would do that intentionally. Um, but I mean, you could just get the most recent mortgage statement from him and you'll be able to see what the payment is on there. How much is owed? But right, but when I finally get going, I won't be able to go further, like call their bank, his bank or anything, or you're saying just build up more rapport as I go forward and hopefully just get it then maybe, or? Yeah, I mean, our, our attorney who closes our deals, they have their own form anyway, because I mean, attorneys, who title companies, they call banks all the time with that authorization to release information so they can get the loan payoff and all that crap. Same, same okay. kind of deal, so it'll eventually come around. So I'll ask for the bank statement just so I can see for sure. Okay. Yeah, I would. I mean, that's, that's what I really want to see.